often. Uh, just the M bar and you know the incendiaries run at the other end, they were always a catalyst for that fight. Sure. Yeah, I guess back to basics then for Bittersweet, just keeping it basic and simple for them to dominate with the shotguns. Of course, we're going to the second map next in the form of Reclaimed. And this is perhaps a map, you know, a more practice map, definitely. And it's one where Aerox can, you know, maybe mix things up a little bit more, you know, play some weapons down bottom on the first half and vice versa for the second half uh, with pushes uh, towards the home hill. Uh, but even more so, bittersweet, they're more practice in the team fights. And we know how crucial all those bowl fights are. You know, ex-Fable members, they are. They have been one of the best teams in that very fight. Of course, at the start of Pro Circuit Season One, when these played on the on uh, on Fable, that bowl fight was their best fight. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's not looking good for Aerox. It's safe to say going forward. No, it, not just yet. It's not, and I'll be uh, I'll be quite excited to see if Incisive is in that firstborn uh, spot for mm. you know for Bowl because he was slaying out. We just we just saw him on on uh, Impact. If if he's you know going at it again on on this ball fight, especially in these opening rounds, it's going to be a very quick quick yeah. reclaimed match. Uh, you know that's where it all kicks off. There's not much to you know pull people away from there for the first few rounds at least until the weapons start getting placed and incisive on fire that first round. Yeah, he's he's what I'm looking forward to uh, to, to watching in the, in this next match to see if Bittersweet go ahead. If if he does what he did in the previous match, two 0 Bittersweet. I, I think Impact sh from Eric's point of view should be viewed as perhaps just a draft map, right? A testing map. You know, can we go head to head mm. with these in the initials in this uh, in this scenario? Perhaps conclude maybe not. You know, maybe they do have the upper hand. And as such, just start placing down power weapons early. Give yourself enough rounds, enough opportunities to you know play around with potential strategies. You know, potential flanks, power weapon placement. See if your team can go off with that. You know, we mentioned that the M bar wasn't too efficiently used. I'd argue from bittersweet. No. Maybe an an option there for them. Uh, but nonetheless, they do need to start, you know, throwing different strategies on the board, just as with Lucent earlier. You know, they were losing the initials there, and eventually they'd lose out 2-0 in a quite convincing fashion. Throw some power weapons around, different strategies, and uh, see if you can take advantage there. Yeah, for sure. I'm looking for the drop shot, talk bow. Maybe even the M-bar pulled over to the other side, right? Maybe, yeah. Just, just something to bring, uh, bring the fight away from that initial over and over again. Yeah. Uh, Reclaimed, I'm, I'm going to be interested to see actually where these teams decide to fight because, okay. you know, both sides of the map, unlike Impact, um, both sides of the map are very close quarters. You've got the barn fight on one side, the ball fight on the other. And despite the elevation, they play somewhat similar, right? Sure. There's yeah. a, lot of, a lot of throwing the smokes and getting loose within a confined space. There's not much uh, help that people around uh, th those two buildings can, can really d help with uh, unless you're in very specific spots. So. Sure. Uh, it, it's going to be interesting to see where the fight happens and whether or not one team decides to try and split the map uh, or, or whether one team tries to really, you know, really focus down and keep, keep one area theirs uh, and, and keep the fight happening there. Consideration as well, actually, in terms of strictly power weapon usage. I mean, if Aerox do go in, as they will have to uh, in this first round to that bowl fight and, and try and win it, if, if early on they find out, you know, this aggressive play style isn't going to work in the ball, you know, why not retro through the through the grate? Just angle it out. Don't yeah. even enter that area. Have a retro up there to really slow down the players of bittersweet. Um, even incense down bottom. Nades just to throw them into the ball straight away. Uh, and as such, have a bit more options down the bottom end. There's a lot of ideas in my mind. Question is, uh, are Aerox, you know, thinking the same thing? Um, it's... A lot of consideration uh, going into this one. You just hope that their uh, that their coach Ant is on mark with that and really considering. You know what can we do going forward? We know Bittersweet have some very good talent on their team. Yeah, that's it. Maybe maybe even making use of that mid spawn. We don't see many teams. Sure, yeah. You know we don't see many teams place their big weapon there because it, it it's a very awkward fight. There's you know. A, f a few raised areas, there's the, the barn windows on the other side, there's a lot of areas where you can get flanked, there's a lot of areas where you can get shot from. And that fight there, if, if one team you know, does drill that and ha yeah. has drilled that, that could be a potential you know, big red flag for another team. Uh, I, I don't, well, I've never really seen a team you know, prioritize that pick really. It's usually just the supporting weapon for the other fight. Maybe something to think about as we go into this. Lots to think about for Aerox Esports as we get into this. Of course, it is reclaimed. The mode is escalation. Let's see. Can Bittersweet continue the momentum going into this one? A practice map for both teams. The shotguns seem to be on the side of the cog. 
how are they going to play this ball fight out? It's actually slower. Aerox are straight into the ball, and Bittersweet haven't committed yet. Here they go with a late push. Yeah, they do go indeed, and Godfex is going to pick up one while Incisive gets the other. There's going to be a member trapped, I think, inside. Yes, it's TJ. He's on his own. Uh, going to be trapped inside the ball, and he's going to get cleaned up eventually. I, I loved what Bittersweet did just then. Yeah. I, I think that was so, so clever. They anticipated that Aerox were going to go hell for leather on that ball fight. What they did is they sat two members back, they lanced double through the gates, and they just saved all their smokes. They were like, ah, oh, it oh, doesn't matter. We'll keep our smokes, we'll throw them out later. That said, incisive J-Rage picking up more kills, four dead on the side of Aerox, and yeah, it looks like bittersweet continuing where they left off. Teamwork was always a potential concern, right, for this bittersweet team. You know, how seriously are they going to treat the practice up to this event? That's a set piece, if you ask me. You know, they, as you mentioned, they saved all their smokes. They went in with a very unorthodox push, but boy, did it work so, so well. And it's really akin to, you know, to the talent on offer in their team, really abusing that in that strategy. Well played indeed. Uh, well, the Aerox actually lose out down bottom as well after overextending. So Bittersweet really immediately regaining control and now on the defense. Aerox just being essentially lanced out here. A pinch would have just put a nail in the coffin for that push. And Ron Slot, you know, even then is picking up kills left, right, and center. Incisive yet again, another double. Mush the last live at B as well. And he's going to have to not only win this fight, but also break the B hill in time. Both players missing shots. Does roll back to get the break, though. Will the break come in? No. no, it will not. Just about getting cleaned up before anything can occur. He did buy enough time, though, Toby. But they he bought enough time. managed to get A back. So, yeah, really well played, I guess, there. Uh, managing to force uh, force the bittersweet player back behind the barbecue. and Just rolls backwards. Knew he was going to go down, but he just bought enough time by getting that touch. His team coming in, uh, coming in clutch behind him. TJ in an awful situation here. The Apple's getting peppered from every side. Great revive. Yeah, good revive there. Heads up play from the player behind him. Saki does find Ron Slaught uh, elsewhere. TJ with the pinch. The player is joining him in the form of Mush. There should be just a simple Lancer out here. They're going for Godfax. He should get downed in this B-Hill, no problem. And then they can clean up the rest of the players as they come round. Ash and J-Rage, important push. CJ missing his shot, still alive nonetheless. Can it play as distance if needs be? Saki is there this to clean up the kill. This might be it, Toby. And it's a very important one of that. It's the a 1v1 one one for incisive for the round. In. Saki takes him out, <laughs> that's gonna be Aerox just coming out of nowhere. Just coming out of nowhere. Look at the, they're getting super excited on the major. That was a fantastic retake attempt on both those hill at once. Slaying out there and yeah, fantastic finish to that round by Aerox. After a real bad start as well, that, you know. Aerox, they, they, they flopped at the beginning, but they came back really, really well there. Heads held high, you, you might argue. Judging from uh, Saki shouting right there and then, he's confident in his team. And uh, they're definitely confident in themselves. It was a, quite a uh, loud push, wasn't it, around, around the back, pinching that, that hill. And also winning down on home street as well, which perhaps the more difficult task, given where the numbers were. Nonetheless, great start from Aerox. Exactly what you'd like to see against this uh, top talent team of Bitsuite. Hammer this place down at Garage and Winery. Uh, not sure if that will influence things too much, but you know, it will help that home hill player to uh, manage the Apple's flank uh, a little bit more. Yeah, looks like both teams are going to uh, going to opt for taking their home hill in the hammer burst to start. As this time the head-to-head -head does happen in the ball, Crump's going to open that up with a couple of kills, and Ash does manage to return one. He's actually going to return two, and he's going to look for his third in this ball. Not sure if he's going to get it just yet. Brilliant Rage is beautiful. Brad C still here though. He came all the way around for that flank. J Rage holding his distance as he has plenty of damage. He has right hand now. This is perfect from him. Brad C, he's trying to close the gap. J Rage reading where he's going to play uh, or move rather as well. Lovely stuff from these players of oh, Bittersweet. And J Rage, that was uh, a very nice phase of play, shall we call it? Two kills in a row. Smart movement, avoiding shots. And yeah. now his team have control. I, I, I love that. That was, that was such heads up. You know, perfect play from Jay. He didn't get hit. He landed every shot and, you know, he just timed his shots to perfection. Really well played there. Uh, as we say that though, Aerox are going to come back up to this bowl. They're going to have another go. Ash just fall this time and he was their nemesis uh, the previous attempt. Incisive is there for backup though. And Aerox are having to scramble to just stay alive at this point. Crump does take a big shot to the face and loses it. Uh, not I like, much, honestly, uh, I, I like this from Bittersweet. Aerox are throwing everything they can 
at this bowl fight, but the bittersweet, they're, they're taking the kills when necessary, but also making distance when necessary as well. J Rage rolling back early, you knowing that he could potentially get down and that could be the catalyst for a push. Instead, pulls all the way back just to be safe. Ron Sort with a Hambus. Should be able to support his teammates after winning a 1v down bottom. Here come Aerox, and this is a big team fight now. It is such an extended fight, but T Bittersweet do have a member on the flank, so that's something they have to watch out for. I think they do actually kill him. Yeah, that's incisive. He's going to drop three now, dropping, and this could, this could be another round where Aerox are just going to sweep it out. Epsilon Ash, Ash does fall, and only Ronnie alive. It's a 1v4 now. Are they going to find where he is? Yep, they found they him have. already. TJ's got to be careful though. There's going to be uh, going to be backup. That's a great push as well. Oh. He almost catches out Godfex, but still the reaction from Godfex is good enough to take down his enemy there, running towards him. I mean, look at the score. Bittersweet, they have a 40-point lead, essentially. Now, after capturing this A-Hill, Aerox, they do need to apply the pressure, so they need to stick to the guns. They need to pick up the kills where they can. Saki does just that. That's the entry, at least, into the hill. They're just going for the break, Toby. They are, they've got the break as well. The B-Hill has been broken, though. Bittersweet have extended around the back of Aerox. They've managed to get that B-Hill, so someone is going to have to go and defend that, but Saki's doing his best to keep this home hill alive. I'm not sure it's going to be enough, to be honest. The C fight hill. is still going down at B, actually. B is going to get decapped. Indeed. Although they're, they're going to need another break on A. 190 now is bit of sweet hit. Mush is going to get lancet out. It's Clinical work needs. from Bittersweet. They're already pushing up to B as well. I don't see anybody near enough for a push just yet. Crump now is going to fly, but the Lancers are set up ready on this staircase to bring down their opponents. Lovely stuff from Bittersweet. They put a round back on the board here. And uh, a very good hold, you know, uh, throughout that whole round. Yeah, it, it, it was a good hold at the end there. But for me, Mush just went way too early. He, he went about five or six seconds before his team were in a position to help him. He just got sprayed back down. Uh, there was there was no gain for him. He knew the two people were in front of him. And and for me, that's that's panic. Cause that's hearing that timer. You hear the klaxon just banging down behind you. And, you know, you, you've got to go when your team's ready. It doesn't matter if... Uh, you know, if it's at the start of the round or if it's at the end of the round and you've got one play to make, you know, for the entire series, you've got to wait for your team there. And without that, without that like third or fourth member supporting on the high flank, it, yeah, it just opened up, it just opened up the map for Bittersweet to rain down fire. And there was never going to be a retake attempt after that. Still, lots of communication from Ash there on our screens for the past 10 seconds. And let's see if anything turns out different now. It's going to be a block, actually, from uh, from Eric Esports on the B Hill. This time around, Bittersweet getting very aggressive onto that B Hill. They pick up the first kill in the form of TJ. Saki is just hanging on one side. Bittersweet, they've committed very strongly to this ball. It's up to Aerox to start pinching as they come out. Ronsort picks up the kill down bottom. Keep that in mind as it could be a potential triple. Nice Aerox can fly through. They're getting damaged left, right, and center, but Bittersweet are holding their own. Here comes Incisive, gets the shot on the right, and it is textbook from them. A very good round and a statement of that. Yeah, I, so I was going to say, I was going to say I really like that block. They've identified they're losing, and you know, they, they, they've identified they're losing that B-Hill, uh, and, and they've just blocked it out. In hindsight, actually, I, th I think that was a really weak block because what they've just said to Bittersweet is, yeah, you're beating us here. Like, we can't do anything about it. Like, we, we, we don't have confidence in ourselves to take that B fight, so we're not going to give you a weapon. That's what, they've, that's what they're saying to me uh, with, that, with that placement. And rather than being proactive and, and you know, drawing the fight down elsewhere, they've, they've just simply said, all right, we're going to lose this fight, so you can have it, and we're not going to be able Let's to do anything again. about it. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's, that's there, there was, there was no again. positive connotation fr from that placement. It almost felt as though they were trying to mimic Bittersweet in that first round with the late push, but they never got proactive enough uh, and executed on that as well. It, nothing went well for them, but maybe this weapon placement can be a little bit more effective. The boom shot, of course, is in the bottom of that barn. And Bittersweet are well aware of that. Ash straight into the thick of it, gets one kill. Saki is there to try and turn after another kill. It's a 2v2 shotgun, strictly speaking, until the flank comes through. Ash gets dropped. Incisive still alive. He had a great first map. Can he get the 2v1? Great bounce. Saki doesn't have any ammo, actually. Reloaded, I believe. That's why he's going to whip out the pistol. Boom shot in hand, though, at the end of all that. b -Hill not in control. So they're going to have to rotate now, make sure they uh, use this boom shot effectively. 
get control and then set up there. Yep, great heads up play there by Saki to switch out. He saw he didn't have enough time for the reload and the switch to the pistol is ever so slightly quicker. Uh, does manage to, to, to yeah, get the kill there. Does whiff the first boom shot though, so not exactly what Ooh. you need and gets taken out. One for one with a boom shot in hand is definitely not what you want. Yeah, that could have gone wrong. Honestly, he flick shotted it almost a little bit, like a mini flick shot to the middle. It could have hit a teammate. Does pick up the kill nonetheless before he bows out for this life. Ash, great up here. He knows his player is damaged, and that's going to be a double from him with a little bit of help from his teammate. Already pressing to the bottom end of the map, looking for TJ. Yeah, Ash did really well there, actually, to stay alive. He uh, almost got reaction shot out of the map, but just does enough to uh, yeah, just does enough to stop uh, to stop that push and gets a double kill for the, for his effort. The uh, the retake though is uh, the attempt is at least coming as as Aerox have moved down into bottom bomb once again. We do see Saki falling. He's got to be more careful with his lives, I think. And we are on you know reasonable uh, death timers at the moment, about 14 seconds or so. And we're going to see the fight actually rage on up at the top. As I say that, incisive J Rage both taken out. Looks like this is going to be a B Hill for Aerox as. Uh, they win that fight, although the points, again, at this point, it's almost double for Bittersweet. TJ still alive. Mind Ash was working his way towards his position. TJ keeps rotating around that barn to ensure he stays alive. Aerox reinforcements do finally come through. They've got the B hill, and now they're going for the A hill. They're picking up the kills. We're on Slot Falls. Crump is going to get taken down, but numbers-wise, Aerox, they can do this. They're a bit le quite level here on the a hill but it seems like they're bowing out now as godfax he picks up a kill on the back line maybe even two saying that uh, and immediately that opportunity is taken away from them boom shot is going to be up soon and ash he knows exactly when it's going to be up ready to pick it up that and uh, ready to rotate to the b hill that was such such a rookie error they had perfect timer they had map control they had two hills then an advantage and they had a boom shot coming up and they push into a chokehold where Bittersweet have got... There's a double kill for Ash. He's going to look for his triple as well. They pushed into a chokehold and just got completely slayed out. That's a triple kill now for Ash with the boom shot. Uh -oh. That should have been in Aerox's hands. Yeah. Can't agree more. Can't agree more. I was about to praise Ash on his shotgunning or, or on his just gameplay. His smart, his positioning, his boom shot usage. But he didn't have a shotgun reloaded there, unfortunately. Uh, maybe a missed opportunity there as he was running across the map. But uh, nonetheless... The score is in favor of his team, and it's now Aerox flying off a respawn to get back. They not only need to break one hill, they need to break two, and it's looking very difficult indeed, even getting into this bowl. Never mind breaking the hill. 207, 208, Bittersweet will take their round as a ward. Yeah, Bittersweet starting to, uh, starting to get a bit of momentum here. I think <laughs> that, that push for Aerox, that, that should have been 2-2. Two -two. Uh, there's, there's absolutely no excuse for that there. They had everything in their control, and they just made a they made a mistake. Like you, you can't make mistakes at this stage, right? You're you're essentially fighting. You're in your potential last map of the tournament, and and you're fighting to stay here. And those those decisions have got to be spot on at this point. And and it, it's cost them a round there. It's cost them, you know, a, from a two-two, it's they're now a two two points behind, two two rounds behind. Difficult situation for Aerox now. Tough pill to swallow, perhaps after uh, being the ones who placed that weapon as well. You know. Uh, yeah, they could be talking over that with their coach. I'm sure he noticed what happened there uh, from the back line. Nonetheless, we do move on, and it is the Boltox placed down at Forge and Construction. Uh, of course, no weapon uh, at B that is blocked, so curious to see actually if that is uh, a major player in terms of the weapon usage up top um, in the 1v1s. I expect it to be that, honestly. Um, there is a player going up top, not for the weapon, at least on one side for Bittersweet. Let's keep a close eye on the booming shot, though, of course. The most powerful weapon on the game. Ash has used it to great effectiveness, and he's already starting off this initial in style. That's it. Talking about Ash, he's already picked up a double kill. Brilliant play. Looking for his triple. Is he going to do it for the stream? No, he's not. Crump does shut him down, but Crump is very weak himself. Could be a boom shot now in Bittersweet's favor. It is. Incisive is the one to pick that up. Yeah, four dead on the side of Aerox, and this is not looking good at all. It's looking great for Bittersweet. If you if you're a Cupcake fan out there, this is looking brilliant. Not but sure for if Aerox, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if Dark has actually started this chance yet. I have no idea where he is. He, he's probably dancing in front of the main stage now, as he is uh, clearly a Cupcake fan at this point in time. Incisive does get that boom shot kill onto TJ. Not going to find Mush, but his teammates are there to wrap that kill up. And there's still quite a bit of presence in the A-Hills. They just need to capture the, the home hill now at this point. 
Yeah, They're but getting the kills. Uh, J-Rage and Sice are picking things up. It's textbook from them. And there comes the blink. Yep, the blink does come in indeed. And Crump is going to try his best, but loses his face in the progress. And that's it, isn't it? That's it. It's a bit of sweet, <laughs> it's a bit of sweet round. Uh, nothing much to say about lovely, that. They, lovely they back, very well. though. You've got to give it to J-Rage. He's playing so smart at the moment. It, it, it's lovely to watch him shotgun uh, as he is. Likewise, Ash. Ash is He's showing very well. exactly why he is an ex-Fable member uh, too. And I know we keep mentioning it, but for me, it's the main storyline. Bittersweet are probably the strongest European team or new European team rather in terms of what's on paper. This is an all-star team with no weaknesses. They just need to have the teamwork and the performance on the day to show that. Uh, we've touched upon it. It's disappointing, perhaps, you'd argue, that they've, they're have they in the loser's bracket. They did go up against Regal Reserve, equally a very, very good team in their own right. But I think there's a Jack reaction sat in that crowd going to come and um, have a word with you after this because I'm pretty sure he'll think his team is actually the, the best new team coming in. Did, However, I, say, did I say the strongest? Yeah, I think I, think I did. Yeah, I, you said the strongest. But, but... An accident. I, I was <laughs> you can't double back now. Say it, saying that. No, no, no. That's not happening, Toby. You've Jack, said it. Yeah, I, I guess so. I, I mean, Cyclone have beaten Prismatic as well. So anything is it, on it, cards at this point in time. You who know, knows? Who knows what's happening on paper going forward. Bittersweet, though. They are playing textbook, if nothing else, right now. Ronsal picking up a kill. He picks up the nades. J-Rage gets a kill. Make that two. And only TJ remains alive. Trying to defend uh, Boomshot. J-Rage doesn't know what's going on. He tries to run away with his Lancer out. Not going to work there. But you expect TJ to fall soon, but he's still <laughs> closing know. the gap. I'm not Damage sure. hasn't been placed upon him. He's just having to dance. Finally, Bittersweet say no. Yeah, that, Stop. I mean, we will take this weapon from you. And if, uh, be whole. And yeah, if TJ's done anything this series, it has been playing his life very well in, in, in certain situations. He's, he's done a, a lot to buy his team a lot of time. Uh, that said, though, you're right. Bittersweet are, are looking very strong at the moment. I uh, I think it's quite unlucky that they run into Regal quite early on. Uh, they, they're definitely a team that could, you know, be breaking that top four. Yeah. We're on slow on our screen here. Great initial. Lurking in the smoke. Seems like Crump has just spotted him. Onslaught playing it safe, coming coming back, allowing Godfex to do work with that weapon. Nice little angle from Saki as well. J-Rage he seems to have clocked him there. And the Boltock being used from Brad. And right now, Bittersweet, they're taking advantage of every situation. If they can be aggressive, they will. And it seems to be paying off. Great movement from Brad, but Godfex is going to be reading every single bounce and turn there, already pressing to that C hill. Yep, and every time the cast comes back to me, Aerox have got four dead, and <laughs> they're just getting slayed out consistently. 5-1 now. It's uh, five rounds in a row as well for Bittersweet. Really, they may, they really just may be strong. looking ahead at this point. You know, yeah. they hear the cast are talking, right? Let's try and end this before uh, <laughs> before Fru gets back on the mic. Let's, uh, oh, no, don't let's say impress that. the crowd. <laughs> 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 don't mean that in a harsh way, of oh. course, Fru. It's just they want to get back in here. They just want to <laughs> <laughs> they just want to make light work of uh, of the enemy team, and I'm sure. Darko, where are you? Can you hear me? Can we have some cupcake chance at this point? Because Bittersweet, this is a a memorable performance against them. They're they're proving why. Uh, they, they are one of the favorite teams coming to this event and uh, their experience is showing their individual talent individually they're playing so so well so impressive as we get into the seventh round they are though we do see the four-man battle down at barn once again TJ opening up kill on Ash looking for a second as well as he's playing around mid box very very well the push is coming in from Aerox but perhaps a little bit too much as J Rage picks up two J Rage looking for the triple he has got a lot of damage down on TJ he's gonna push forward J Rage does indeed pick up the triple kill here for the boom shot. Boom shot as his reward as well. And look at this, bittersweet already overextending towards the deal. Of course, it's the second half. There will not be a boom shot, but does it even oh, matter yeah. at this point in time? Godfex goes in, picks up a kill. Ash already knocking on the door of the enemy's home hill. Brad, he's trying to time himself with this push, waiting for his teammates to respawn. Will it matter? Yes, it will. It's born just about enough time. TJ sneaking around the back. Ash is having none of it though. Neither is Godfex. Another fantastic round from Bittersweet. It never looked like they were going to lose. No, that's it. 6-1. And yeah, I, I apologize. You're right. We are on the on the next side. It, it oh, just, no. It went so quickly. We, we, we switched cameras and then Saki, the, the loudest player, you'd argue, on that team, has now got his head on the desk. Uh, so he's definitely not happy. You can see Ant, you know, the coach for the team, working hard. Trying keep to get head in the game. Up. You know, keeping in it. But a, a picture, a video in this case, tells a thousand words and Saki does not seem as energetic as he once did. No, he doesn't, and it, it's. I mean, you can understand why, right? It's a very tough task ahead of uh, ahead of Aerox here. They've they've got to win six in a row, uh, just 
just to win this map, and then they've got another map to go before uh, before anything. It's a, definitely a, a momentous task ahead of them. The boom shot is going to get placed out there, so for the rest of this game, we're going to see at least a fight down at Workshop for something. Boom shot is the prize this time around. Going to be uh, going to be a difficult fight for them for sure. They've and they've not done well in the previous <laughs> what where, four rounds of it. Where are the surprises though? Yeah. Even now, uh, this is why it's such a. It happens all the time, but a boom shot is placed as a last resort when it really shouldn't be. Because if you throw the dice of who's going to win a shotgun fight, it, it could go 50-50 a lot of the time. And this, for me, is just a team fight. The bitters have and even Sizes proven picked up three. that they have no problem winning. They, they, you're not going to win six rounds in a row for this boom shot, with that being there. It is, it's really just setting yourself up to, for a loss, in my opinion. Yeah, uh, you're Perhaps right. a lost cause at this point in time. Incisive picking up the triple. What more can you ask for? The, the only thing you're, you know, you're banking your hopes on here is that you get into that fight, and you get a boom shot. If you lose it, you're back off respawn pretty quickly, but you lost four in a row fighting the same fight, and then you've put the same fight down again. Like, I, I don't see the logic in it. I don't think there is that much logic, to be honest. I think it's just a go-to strategy sometimes for these teams, and it shouldn't really be, to be honest. Crump on our screens now. Of course, Aerox, they do hold on for now. Um, and it's nice of actually getting down in the process. Smoked as well, and that's actually saved his life here, Ash. Yeah. Joe should be able to get the revive in the smoke. Nicely done. We saw we see that a lot more, of course, in Europe. We saw that very early on in the game from North American teams. Uh, a bit sweet. Our players who have picked up on such a strategy and it saved a life right there. Definitely take notes at home, folks, for that one. But Aerox are uh, going to be uh, pulled back once again here. Yeah, I mean, Aerox, <laughs> to say they lost that first fight so heavily, they're doing well here to, to, to hang on in. They're ahead in points. There are, you know, Saki's not in the great spot, but in terms of uh, the overall look of the map, two hills in their favor. They are going to uh, they're going to push forward now. Air Hill is the next uh, the next fight. Looking at Joe Rage as he's just laying down shots through the window here. Besides, they're flying in. Not a care in the world through the smoke. Brilliant play. Yeah, bittersweet just lurking. Menacing presence. Brad Seat showing the utmost respect using the land threat range. Now, Godfax with a kill on Saki as well. And I think that's down bottom actually. So there is still some presence. They just need to take control of E. No player is really there, though. Bittersweet evidently going for the home hill setup here, and it seems to pay dividends as of right now. Yeah, when, um, when when you're seeing Bittersweet so far up into the construction there, for me, Aerox need to just identify that and be like, okay, we've got the quick route. You know, we've got the inside route to that E-hill and, and rotate quicker than them. We've just seen the boom shots coming up. Well, the boom shot did come up and was picked up, but I think it got traded out straight away, actually. The Aerox could again have had uh, another boom shot control in their hands. Yeah, that's said though. Handing back to E. I think this could be a triple here. So Jay Rage, Saki. the consistency needs to be there, and it is. That will be the nail in the coffin for this matchup. Seven to one, the final score in favor of Bittersweet. You know, they looked very good, especially on an individual basis. I don't think there needed to be too much teamwork, honestly, from them because the initials just seemed so easy for them. Fantastic stuff from Bittersweet. Very, very impressed indeed. Thank you very much, guys. And unfortunately for Aerox, they will now be going home. Better sweet do advance through the losers bracket in a fairly comfortable game. Yeah, Toby. Yeah, that's safe. It should that's safe to say actually. A uh, bit of sweet individual base, as I just mentioned, through there. It, it was just too easy for them. You know, I've said this a lot of times throughout the event, but business as usual, right? There wasn't any drastic strategy from Bittersweet. Likewise, Aerox disappoint me a little bit in that they didn't get a little bit more. You know, adventurous, shall we say, with their weapon placements and strategy, something I would like to see, but it, it, commiserations to them, they will be going home. Bittersweet, very well played, and a, a deserved win in my book. Yeah, for, same from you. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I mean, for me, they're, they're just, there wasn't any spice behind Aerox's play. They've been a team since the last event, since prior to the last event. They've picked up a coach this time around, and there was just, it just didn't look like there was much fore planning. There mm. was a lot of the same, and for me, a lot of the same when you're losing is not a good thing. Yeah, and you got to feel for them, you know, with the bracket that they had. They, they went up against yeah. Lucent first game, and then 
having to play against Bittersweet down this only this far through the tournament is is rough for them. But either yeah. way, Bittersweet looking very very good. Let's see how the rest of their tournament go. I mean, were you really impressed with that performance, or was it just a game that you probably expected them to win comfortably anyway? Because it seemed as if we were a, li a little bit split between them before we started. I think at least with me, I, I favoured Bittersweet from the start. Uh, right, I, I do really fancy their individual skill, especially with the the map picks as well. I mean, Impact yeah. was a bit more adventurous in, in that regard, but it, it was still more the same. It was all about those team fights that bittersweet we're forcing and the round count shows it right mm -hmm. i think that really does go to show that the difference between the two teams does lie a lot in the experience and those that individual talent um but the, I guess more of the same. You know? Yeah, I mean, a lot of the early rounds, especially on Reclaimed, went pretty much to the distance, didn't they? They, they were long rounds, so mm -hmm. maybe, you know, Aerox could, it was a few moments here and there, they could have maybe, you know, done something, but better sweep will always seem like they're in control. Sure. Let's see how they do through that with the rest of the tournament. I mean, where, where do you think the limits are for this team currently? For, uh, for me, they, they look really, really good. I, I was actually impressed with how, how well they did play that map. Um, it's... You know, th there's something to be said about Aerox being a bit down in the dumps. They have had a very, very tough bracket. We, we can't glance over that. That's probably the toughest bracket of anyone so far. Um, that said, Bittersweet came off a loss against Regal. Regal, you know, it was 2-1 as well. So it, w it was a close game a close there. Game, yeah. Uh, and, and yeah, and then, and then Bittersweet come here and just destroy destroy Aerox. So uh, uh, top four, top, top six? Depending yeah, on their bracket. Around that sort yeah. of yep. Okay, well, we're going to have a quick look at the bracket to see where everybody is now lying to see. Who's going to be playing who? We'll have a look into that in a second. But I, I mean, realistically, we are expecting them to start to challenge me for that top four. Maybe make a, a pretty good oh. losers bracket run. We'll see who we've got to play in just a second. <laughs> I think it, it's hard. So where would you put them around everybody else? Because I mean, everybody, you've got the Fable teams one and two. Obviously, we know which order that's going to be. And we, we suspect anyway. Yep. Where would you put this team in, in regards to that? You think it's top four, top six? Uh, you know, it, it's, it's difficult to call right now. Yeah, it does come up. It, it is difficult. The, to the top four... Is is a very you know, it's, it's it's an attainable goal for this team. Yeah, it, it's it's not out of their realm of possibilities. Though you're right, Fable, Fable, Sentinel, Regal, my top three, and then yeah, four four to like six is a scrap. Like th yeah. there's a lot of teams in there it that is. can can take that from from either one of them. L Lucent are going to be up there. Uh, we we've obviously got uh, Cyclone. We've got Prismatic, uh, and and now we've got Bittersweet as well, who are all going to be wanting to take that top spot. Yeah, I, I mean, I actually predicted Prismatic to come top three this event, uh, looking at how they're performing and, and the players on paper. But, you know, they lost out to Cyclone, so that's up in the air at that, this point in time. Defeating Aerox, uh, bittersweet. I don't think you can tell too much mm -hmm. th this early on. Uh, it looked very simple for them. Nothing really stretching them there, but yeah. It looks like Prismatic sort of on a collision course with Lucent by the looks of things. I mean, you yeah. would expect Lucent to probably beat Invalid, you would say. Uh, Prismatic against Frenchies will probably be a pretty decent game, but either way, you would expect them to, to advance. They go on to play each other. A bit of sweet will play the winner of Horizon Union against Revolt. So, I, I mean, from Horizon's performance that we've seen before, uh, okay, yeah, they go on to lose against Fable, but now going in against Bittersweet, if they go on to beat Revolt, that'll be a good game. That'll yep. be a very good game. Yep. Yeah, I think so. I think it would be a closer game than what we just saw, to yep. be honest. Uh, you have, you know, Aerox perhaps not on form. Uh, you'd argue Horizon are on form. Mm -hmm. uh, fairly similar caliber of players, many would argue, in the community. So, yeah, that on paper could be a very good game. Okay. Yeah. All right, excellent. Well, we do have one more game coming up soon, and I'm sure we've got a couple more, actually. It is going to be former Supremacy, now Fable, playing up against... I forgot. There we go. I've been told it. Regal. And it is actually going to be yeah. real. Thank you, Toby, for saving the day completely. Clutch, I'm, Toby. I'm there. sitting here like, <laughs> just going to tell the guys what we've got coming up next. Can't remember who the teams were, but there you go. You know what? You you can host some point this weekend because I think I Oh, thank you. I want to have a go at casting just to see, you know. Please. See how we go. You, you, you want me to? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. You, you casted you a 2K before. Now I'll take that opportunity. I'll have the desk for one game. My desk. Can I? I'm can you write something you. On, a, yeah. on a piece on a, on a card now, and well, I can take the Mickey out than you? To be fair, let's be honest. But anyway, we're going to go to a very, very <laughs> short break, and we will have another great game oh coming dear. up just after this very short break. <laughs> 